<laughs> All right, well, well, thanks for coming. And um, I, I guess the first question is, did you ever anticipate being in a category going head to head with you know, burlesque and, and the tourists? And yes, I did. You, you did, you had this plan? Especially burlesque. <laughs> I was hoping that the that the Golden Globe. We've been people would sort of talking with Christina Aguilera's people a lot, and so we sort of <laughs> knew that our projects were coming down the pipe at the same time. So I just want to meet Cher. Really, that's <laughs> the highlight. Of the I, I'm sure we can work that out. Um, I mean, when you were writing this, do you think in terms of genre at all? Do you think we're writing a comedy or? We did. I think we. Uh, we said, let's dig into the comedy part, right? Yeah, we wanted to do comedy and drama, hopefully in equal Thank measure. You. Thank you so much. Uh, we we didn't want to give either of those two bad boys short shrift. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and it's not it's not such an easy tone to pull that off. So I think we um, here here's Cheers. to you. <laughs> we worked hard for the comedy part. Mm -hmm. It was always there, but we worked hard to pull it up just right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I know, Lisa, your scripts in the past, generally, you've written by yourself, and, and Stuart, I know, I mean, you've you've done some collaborations and, and some on your own. I mean, was there an adjustment, especially Lisa, that you had to make to collaborate? I had to be on time, which was difficult. <laughs> yeah. Um, really difficult. Uh, what else happened? Well, we had to learn to sort of mind that. We did. He, um, I, you know, in the first hour of working together, we realized he was always going to be on the keyboard and I was going to need to be on time. And um, and I think we also, in all seriousness, I think we also realized that we had like kind of a kindred spirit, that we were, it was going to take a little bit of a learning curve, but that we were going to, it was going to work. It was really fun. We the had fun. I'd say 80% of the time, we had a really great time. We did. Yeah. It was, it was, um, we, we were in, in Playland most of the time, just sort of imagining. Really? These characters, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, were, th were there specific examples of, of areas where you just really didn't see eye to eye and had to figure out how to... Not really. Was there? No, not really. I mean, it, it was interesting to me when I think back because the, the kind of first conversation we had before we even agreed to work together was, hey, you know, you've been doing these studio kind of more comedic, bigger films and I've been doing these kind of more personal, psychologically character-driven films and... Wouldn't that be great if we could blend it? And I think inherent in that is, you know, there's going to be a little bit of a, of a learning curve. And so sometimes you'd come up with stuff and I'd be like, yeah, I like the essential, you know, setup of that or the, 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 the kind of, um, what was it? Not sight gag. It was the... Uh, or you'd say, that's a, you know, I know what you're going for. Let's come up with something like that. Yeah, let's work with that, but we got to break it up and, and get, dig deeper so that it doesn't just come off as like shtick or farce or whatever, which is fun. But we kind of had to keep mashing it back into the tone that we wanted. And I think, if any, I mean, I think we never really fought, but we'd have discussions about how far we wanted to push things. And he was good. He was the pusher. And I was the puller, don't you think? Sometimes. But I mean, we... Uh, I think our biggest disagreements were about like what kind of car Paul would drive or things like that. But that was fun. Yeah. I mean, we got to, you know, then we'd go like drift off into Wikipedia land or just like start surfing. Screenwriting has gotten much harder with Safari and Firefox because you're like, well, wait a minute. Yeah, what is that Ford F-150 like? Let's pull up some images. And then another half hour goes by and you just... Mm -hmm. like, Organic just farms, a, you know, community farms, uh, you know. Yeah. Didn't we get on a whole jag about we stone did. barns? And we did. Lots of time spent. Okay. It was fun. Are there certain things that, that say, Lisa does better than you and, and things that you do better than Lisa? Or? Everyone wants to know that. They want to make it a competition. I think... Uh, <laughs> you answer that. Um, I think Stuart is great... I mean, Stuart is great at all of it, truthfully, and I'm not just saying that because we wrote this together. I think he's a really gifted writer. I think one of his great gifts that he's really worked and developed is that he's great at structure. He knows like when something's you know not working because it just doesn't fit in an overall kind of structural way. I think he's good at cutting out the fat and cutting to it. He's good at saying that we need a little short scene here because there's a rhythmic thing we should go for at this 
point in the script and just a bunch of little short scenes, you know, more of a page. I think you're really good at atmosphere. I think you're really, she's really good at sort of the little details that create a world, that locate you, that let you know where you are, that make it feel real in a really satisfying way. Mm -hmm. That's a really great skill that I think a lot of people have noticed in her work since the beginning. Mm -hmm. were, were there things that weren't on the page? I mean, wh what did the actors bring to it that wasn't that wasn't on the page? A lot, but I mean, there was a crap load on the page. I think they pretty much were absolutely faithful, but to me, what the great success of the screenplay is, is that they knew their characters and their situations so well that whenever they just felt free to kind of improv, like, you know, before I say action or when I kept the camera rolling after cut, they would just come up with stuff that was so in keeping in these characters and kind of the spirit of whatever the scene was that it was often right. hilarious and well, like, even kind of more spontaneously funny than what we had done. There's, a, there's the dinner scene at the end, which is, I think, a really funny scene and a really touching scene when Nick, who's played by Annette Benning, is trying to bond with Paul, the Mark Ruffalo character, because she feels like she's been really giving him the business for most of the movie and they have this great bonding experience over Joni Mitchell and then as they kind of just like uh, nod to each other Mark just lets out with my brother from another mother thing which was just totally off the cuff which was great but which was coming out of where they were in the scene so mm -hmm. some of their improvs were phenomenal but I think they were out of the character that was given mm -hmm. right. now Stuart when I look at your IMDB page there's a there's a small you know, a bunch of acting credits, and it seems like the last two are our uncredited sous chef and oh, right. uncredited dancing guy at an at a, a, yes. a, a adult video convention. Yes. And so where do you go from here? Really depends what I write. You know, my next movie is going to be about three guys in sex addiction uh, recovery, so that'll be a really fun walk on. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, so have you ever been in any of your movies? Uh, no. That's I a choice, right? that's, Yeah, that's a choice. Mm -hmm. Some people I'm a behind the are camera. masters of restraint, and some people want to be that idiot who gets in there for it. Truthfully, friend. if you, um, you know, for the people that are aficionados of this film, that are going to see it multiple times, they're going to notice that not only is the sous chef in the kitchen in Paul's restaurant, but he shows up at the bar when right. um, Julia Moore and Annette Benning are having their right. row. He's... Um, I had to remind her because I wasn't there on the first day of shooting and then they're like, oh, Stuart, get in on the scene. I was like, but I've, I've already been, been in there. <laughs> they're like, oh, who cares? No one's going to notice. Yeah. That'll be a good one of those trivia questions exactly. like in 20 years. Mm -hmm. Well, L.A. is a small town, so that sous chef guy could have been in Little Dogs. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, thanks a lot for coming. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Yeah.